If you saw our last two videos, you would know that our first attempt at Air Venture 2022 loop didn't go as planned. Today is take two. Because of the delay, we are headed straight to Wisconsin with a stop in Kentucky for fuel and a trip to an air museum. Now we can add Kentucky to our ever-growing list, State 11. Rainbow. Ooh. Where? Over there. Oh yeah. If that's a sign of good luck that Daddy and you are gonna win the Air Adventure Cup race. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get there. <laughs> Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, holding short runway 12 and ready for departure. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stewart Tower, Roger, traffic on right base, we're touch and go, runway 12, clear for takeoff. 12, clear for takeoff, forward Mike. All right, Oshkosh bound, take two. Love you. Love you. Love you guys very much, here we go. All right, got airspeed of live times three. Gage is in the green, fuel flows are good. 65, rotate. Tap the brakes, gear coming up. Steer Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, would you prefer right turn or left turn out? Aztec 41 Mike, if you're northbound, left turn works great. Left turn, 41 Mike. Aztec 41 Mike, uh, there's an area of uh, large area of uh, moderate to heavy precipitation up there by the power plant. Most of it's at the plant and east. May want to work a little bit west. We, uh, we see that, Ray. We're going to work. Uh, West and then continue north. Appreciate it. Follow Mike. Aztec, follow Mike. Roger, Palm Beach, you've like 2362. Have a nice weekend. 12362. You have a good weekend as well. Palm Beach Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with request. 241 Mike, Palm Beach Approach, stay Aztec 2441 Mike, we are uh, two miles to the north of Stewart at 1600. We're currently working around an area of precipitation. We're going to be heading north and uh, looking for flight following. It's a PA-27 Aztec, uh, altitude will be 8,500, uh, four passengers on board. Destination is Lexington, uh, Limo X, uh, Echo X-Ray. Number 41 Mike, Spock 6647. 6647, forward Mike. Forward Mike, greater contact four miles to northwest to Stewart, Altimers 3010, maintain VFR on course to Lexington, climb 8,500 is approved. On course to Lexington, maintain VFR, 8,500 approved, forward Mike. Off we go again. Good morning, everybody. Are you guys ready for the next big trip? Yeah. All right, you make it through today. You got a long trip today, but after you make it through today, all our airplane trips from here on out will be a little shorter. Okay. okay. Why are we stopping? We're, We're stopping in Lexington, Kentucky, as long as we can make it there. It's pretty close to what we can do on fuel, so I may have to land earlier, but our plan is to get to Lexington. So how long will it be to Expect four. How long is the entire flying today going to last? Seven and a half to eight hours. Uh, that's good. Yeah, it's not. You thought it was ten yesterday when we were. Dad said it was ten. And All then about he expectations. Looked it up. He actually <laughs> looked it up, and it's a little bit less. Thank goodness. That's a pretty big cloud for this early in the morning. Oh yeah. It's only seven thirty. At midday, that's going to be a monster. Yeah. But if we do get to land in Kentucky. That will add another state to our list. Yeah, state yep. number 11. 11, I think. Look at that. That looks awesome. That does look cool. It looks like the rock towers. On the beach, remember? So, like, the tiny... I can see what you're saying. Like, the rock... The clouds, like, little poofs and stacked on top of other poofs. 3241 Mike, Miami Center, 132.25. 132.25, forward Mike. Miami Center, Aztec 2441 Mike at 4,600, climbing 8,500. That's at 2241 Mike, Miami Center, Rear Beach, Altima, 3010. 3010, and uh, I think you might have the call sign wrong. It's 2441 Mike. 2441 Mike, Roger, I think so. I'll take that. Thank you very much, Farwin Mike. Clouds right there, so pretty. Right there, where it's like the air is moody, Yeah, the sun is helping us out, making that nice. <laughs> Are they both asleep? Yeah. That's all right. It's been a long couple of days already, and we didn't even go anywhere hardly. <laughs> we did. We we went five hours one direction, and then five hours back home. Yep. Just an update. You know, or if you saw our last couple of videos, you're going to see that our initial attempt to Oshkosh was an absolute failure. Uh, we wanted to get to Arkansas on day one, and we were planning on staying in the Crescent Hotel. In Eureka Springs. In Eureka Springs, but... Uh, 
When we stopped for fuel in uh, the northwest corner of Alabama in Hamilton, we had a fairly substantial oil leak, and plans changed. We uh, flew up to Tupelo, found a mechanic, fiddled around with some things. So, to be cautious and just make sure that we weren't doing anything foolish, we made a multi-step uh, course back to Stewart yesterday, where we stopped in Sebastian, which is where my Aztec mechanic is. So we stopped in Valdosta first. Yeah, stopped in Valdosta, and it made was sure. Right. It was holding in Valdosta, but at that point we were pretty well committed to the plan of having our mechanic take a look at it and just, just make sure it was safe <laughs> since we're trying to compete in the Air Venture Cup air race. I know I'm going to be pushing the plane a little bit harder in that race, and I do not want to make a small problem worse. So we crawled it back to Valdosta, brought it down to Sebastian, uh, took off all the cowlings again, gave the engine a good once over. It was holding oil. It wasn't, you know, we left with 12 quarts. We landed with 12 quarts, and uh, it was after several hours of flying. So we got the stamp of approval from our mechanic in Sebastian and uh, went back, cleaned the plane up, and we are back on our way to Oshkosh all in one day from South Florida to try to make it in time for the uh, Air Venture Cup air racing events with a dinner tonight. So along the route today, we're going to be stopping in Lexington. Hopefully. Uh, they have a uh, aviation museum in the Lexington Bluegrass vicinity. Airport. Bluegrass <laughs> Airport. So uh, it's about a four hour flight away. So we're going to stop there. Make sure we get some food, get the plane fueled up, and then we'll continue on up to Oshkosh. So, uh, so that's the plan. Wausau. Wausau. Yeah, Wausau is today. I'm not ever sure how to, if I'm saying it correctly. Wausau. Me neither. They'll straighten Wausau. us out when we get there. Yes, they'll, ch they'll, they'll fix us. <laughs> but yeah, up to Wausau, and then we will uh, hang around for a couple days, do the briefing. Race is on Sunday morning. So we got a little bit of time, should there be any other surprise issues, but um, we'll see if we can get there. Should be about eight hours of flying today. 30 minutes down. <laughs> Every little bit counts. 124.8, see ya. 124.8, see ya. Orlando Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8,500. 2441 Mike, Orlando, 23010, you headed to uh, Lexington? 3010 and uh, affirmative, we are heading to Lexington. Before we get too far, I want to say thank you to George Hernandez and his wife. He sent us with the camera these little seatbelt things, and we've flown around with them for two days now. Yeah. And they're really good. They keep this a little bit tighter, and it's not right up on your neck. So between this, this, it's been wonderful. Don't yep. you agree? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very really much, nice. George. That was a really nice gesture. That was a very big surprise. That turned out really well. Thank you. Much appreciated. But we don't expect that. I guess you're, uh, you're, you've are you're you been watching us struggle with our seatbelts for probably. a year They're probably and a half. tired of me doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Every video, we're constantly messing with our seatbelt. <laughs> and uh, you solved the problem well, and, and we, we are very grateful. Thank you. Yep. Looks like there's a cruise ship right there. Is there a cruise port here at Cape Canaveral? Yeah. Where do you see the cruise ship? Right there in that little inlet looking thing. There's oh, yeah. a straight way. There's yeah. two. We got a plane 400 below on the other side of this channel. Of uh, that one, like the far river? Yep. Yeah. Right there. Line to line, right along the coast. Good morning. Do you need four to three point? You see it? Yep. No, oh, he's no problem. November four one Mike, contact Daytona one one eight point eight five. Daytona one one eight point eight five forward Mike. Daytona approach Aztec two four four one Mike at eight thousand five hundred. Aztec two four four one Mike Daytona approach Daytona number three zero one zero advise prior to any altitude changes. Three zero one zero will advise prior to altitude change for one Mike. There's an airplane. Where? Well, that's a Southwest jet. Pretty sure they're not going to hit us. He turned. Cherokee, 1417 with the Daytona. Daytona, number 3010. You're bored out of your mind. Hey? Yeah. Why does that thing work? He turned. What do you mean? I'm telling you, he turned. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching airplanes. Like eight miles away, going the other direction. Okay. <laughs> I see two more planes. They're over there. That one also turned. 
You can see him coming out your window now. I, I see him. You got him? Yeah. I saw him already, but you were eating out at one of the me. There's also one up there. There's two up there. It's like you're not even paying attention. Maybe I can't see it because it's top of the plane, but there's one. Oh, yeah. There is two right there. Remember last year how it was so smoky going up to Wisconsin? Is there any fires that you know of? There's not any big fires at the moment. But it looks like this. Yeah, that, that's why I was thinking about it. Hey guys, we got St. Simons off to the right. This is always really pretty with the marshes and the, and the city. I love looking at that area. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Number four on my traffic, three o'clock, about five miles, northwest west Citation, climbing out at 8,000. Four one Mike, looking for traffic. I don't see him on that little circle. At three o'clock, which should be right there. There. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> yep. Let's attack four one Mike with traffic in sight. Four one Mike, Roger, thank you. Why doesn't he show up here then? Remember, this is ADSB, so he has to beam a si signal down to a ground station, which then picks him up and then beams the position back up to the people that have ADSB receivers. And uh, it isn't always terribly efficient or reliable. What airport was that? That's Baldwin County Airport in Georgia. Baldwin County Regional, Mike Lima Juliet. The runway goes right into the end of the lake. That's so interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting airport. We should... One of those times we're going to Athens or something, we should fly in, just do the approach, because that was cool. Yeah. Two four four one Mike traps one o'clock five miles cell phone Cirrus at eight thousand or nine thousand. Cirrus at nine thousand. We're looking for traffic. Four one Mike. There. Earlier, we're just you see it? Over here yep. right now. November two four four one Mike contact line approach one three two point four seven. One three two point four seven four one Mike. Atlanta approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8,500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Atlanta approach, Aztec Delta 3008. 3008, 41 Mike. Atlanta approach, Aztec 2441 Mike. We got some clouds at our altitude. We're going to be descending down to 6,500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Roger. Atlanta approach, Aztec 2441 Mike is clear clouds. We're going to do a VFR climb back to 8,500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Roger. So we're going to get to go over a few mountains. Yep. Good ones. This is Blue Ridge Mountains, right? Yeah. Can you guys see the map? See all the yellow and brown? Yeah. yeah. That's where the mountains start. Oh. we got to go over the top of mountains. Right now, the, the ground is about 500 feet, 600 feet of elevation. And where we're going right in here, it's 6,600 feet of elevation. So the mountains are going to come all the way up to where we're at. Well, the haze is clearing up. You can see the mountains ahead of us. Yeah, take a look at the mountains. Nice. If you if you look straight down, you can start to see some of the creases in between the mountains. But you see how we're transitioning right now on the map from green to brown. Okay, this is where this is exactly where the mountains start. There's a little lake out the left window. Right there in the middle of the mountain. That lake is Lake Burton. I bet that's pretty. And then the uh, the airport that we've sometimes seen on YouTube called Heaven's Landing. Yes, I have heard Heaven's of that Landing one. is right up here on the right, about 10 miles ahead. It's well, going to be tucked into the mountains. You'll be able to see it. That means we're still in Georgia then, huh? Yep. It's pretty. Yep. Too bad the outside cameras aren't on still. Yeah, well, there's Heaven's Landing. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm waiting. For what? Thank you. <laughs> that area right over there is Blairsville and Brasstown Bald, which is the highest point in Georgia. Yep. is right in that area. That's what you're looking at down there right by those clouds. That's Brasstown Bald. Off to the left, we've got Young Harris University. And it, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but Chatouge Lake or Chatouge Lake. I have no idea. All right, everybody. Welcome to North Carolina. Woo! How tall are these mountains? The biggest one. The tallest one is 6,643 feet, and it's the one that you see right to your right. That's Clingman's Dome. All right, right out of the left side is Nantahala Lake. 
We're right underneath the O and the K on the sectional of Smoky Mountains. <laughs> so this is no longer the Blue Ridge Mountains, we're in the Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains. Very good. For 2441 Mike, contact Knoxville Approach 118.0. Knoxville 118.0, for one Mike. Knoxville Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Knoxville Approach, Knoxville 3008. 3008, 401 Mike. To the left, we've got San Titla. That's San Titla Lake. <laughs> How confident that you pronounce that right? Marginally. And we got Fontana Lake up ahead that'll cross from my side to your side. That's a nice big lake. I've got some over here. Maybe that's part of Fontana. Look at the big dam. Oh, I don't know if you can see it yet. Holding up that whole lake, Fontana Lake. Hey, welcome to Tennessee, guys. Where? You're in Tennessee. We've been in Tennessee for a little bit. They were watching for the what, After we went over the top of those mountains, it was Tennessee. November 2441 Mike, contact Knoxville Approach 123.9er. 123.9er, 41 Mike. Knoxville Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Knoxville Approach, Knoxville Center 3008. 3008, 41 Mike. Now we're going over a stadium. Knoxville? Yeah. We're not flying a George G right now, are we? <laughs> nope. We don't have enough gas for that. Yeah, I didn't realize that we were going right over the top. Ooh, had Tennessee dodged the bullet today. Center 4 on Mike, contact Atlanta Center 133.6. 133.6, forward Mike. Atlanta Center, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8,500. Number 2441 Mike, Atlanta Center, Roger. Maintain VFR, not still allowed. Seminar 3007. Maintain VFR, tree 007, for one mic. If you look out there, there's a road that goes right on the top of the mountains. There's a long road that goes just peak to peak all the way down. I think I see it. It's on uh, the city high cliff, right at the border between Tennessee and Kentucky. If I didn't say it before, welcome to Kentucky. Woo! We did it. This is our last day. We're coming up five miles, about two minutes, two to three minutes. They're going to see a big river. That's the Cumberland River. All right, here's the river. It's brown. That's not the color I was expecting. Me neither. That's not the one I was looking for. It almost looked like it was a road. Is it so wide on the edges? You're one o'clock. You're at about nine or miles heading south. Are we sure that's not a road? That you're looking a road. at a road. You're recording a road. <laughs> I can't see over, I think I can only see it through the screen. Yours is going that way. You're going to see it behind your wing coming up right about now. That's a tiny river. Well, no wonder it looked like a road because it was a road. Yep. <laughs> it moves like a river. It's like this. It's not a Florida straight road. Two four four one Mike. Contact Lexington Approach one two zero point one five. One two zero point one five for one Mike. Lexington Approach Aztec two four four one Mike at eight thousand five hundred. Aztec two four four one Mike. Lexington Approach Lexington altimeter three zero zero six. Wind at the field two six zero at nine. Expect left base entry runway. We'll expect left base entry runway 22 for one mic. That's like 41 mic. Descend and maintain 3000. Descend and maintain 3000 for one mic. Yeah, that's a jet off our wing. That's like 41 mic traffic at uh, 8 to 9 o'clock and two and a half miles northeast bound to C 130 at 4000. Once you're below them, I can get you turned in towards the airport. We have traffic in sight and we are descending now. Roger. Aztec 41 Mike, turn left heading 340. Left heading 340, 41 Mike. Airport inside, 41 Mike. Aztec 41 Mike in our left base, 22, contact tower 119.1. Tower 119.1, 41 Mike. Lexington Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike at 3000, left base, runway 22. Tower 2441 Mike, Lexington Tower, good afternoon, runway 22, clear to land. Runway 22, clear to land, 41 Mike. Good job, AJ. Signature flight support is the yeah, FBI. Four one Mike, where are you parking? Oh, we're going to be going over to Signature. And four one Mike, Roger, turn left at Alpha Four, left on Alpha, contact Ground Point Niner. Left Alpha Four to Alpha, Ground Point Niner, four one Mike. 
Lexington Ground, Aztec 2441 Mike is clear, runway uh, 22 at Alpha 4. There's the museum. Well, that's at least convenient. We can walk to it. There's that C-130 doing a go-around. Oh, look at that. I don't see signature to you. Oh, uh, I thought TAC Air would be it, but maybe not. Lexington Ground, Aztec 2441 Mike, we're uh, back in the ramp and I can't seem to find signature. Can you tell me where they are out here? Yeah, it's actually the uh, TAC Air FBO off your left side. They just haven't gotten around to changing the marquee. <laughs> All right, I'll make a little loop around and go that way. I appreciate it. 41 Mike. Just like Stewart Jet Center is now <laughs> at landing. We're headed to the Aviation Museum from the FBO. They said, you can't go through the pavement. You have to go through the front door. They said, cut through on a hill. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Aviation Museum of Kentucky. Look at all the flags this one has. Do you remember this plane? Yeah. This plane was the one that they stole in the new Top Gun movie oh. at the end. Oh. That's the Top Gun. Yeah, or, yeah, the Tomcat. Oh, this one's triple zero. That's got one more zero. Oh, no. I bet it's a little bit faster than ours. You think? I don't know, but I'm a little jealous. Now we should have did three zeros. Got a new state. New sticker on the plane. Kentucky. Eleven states. This is our eleventh one. Number eleven, Kentucky. Nice.